Should I? Should I not? But at the same time, I... you only live once, right? <laughs> afternoon happy 2022 again so today i'm sorry for my sleepy face like i tried i washed it but it just looks sleepy it is i think 9 30 it's not that early but you know still sleepy face um but yeah okay so i'm very excited because today we are going to be going to barnes and noble again i just love that place it's so relaxing it's kind of been not a stressful week but i've like it, i just felt really anxious this week you know came back from home and it's kind of getting back to the routine and like i don't know missing everyone it's just a strange week when you get home from the holidays and i don't know and also most of my friends are still out of the country my boyfriend's out of the country so you know it's kind of just been a weird week so we're gonna go to barnes and nobles and relax and just see what we find hopefully it's gonna be great like i said i would have our previous videos thanks to quarantine i know it's now all coming back and ugh, but um you know kind of reading books was kind of what saved mine um so yeah just kind of kept reading and here we are uh so yeah we'll see what we find i also wanted to say like in one of our last videos i got this book i hadn't gotten to read it because i was still finishing the shadow and bone trilogy which we'll talk about later because i fell in love with it and i kind of need to talk to someone about it so we'll talk about it later uh, but yeah, I'm reading this book, which is The Midnight Library by, by Matt Hague. Hague. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name. And it's not what I thought it would be. So I'm just wondering if you guys have read it because I need inspiration to finish it. It's been a tough read because I just, not a tough read, like a tough understanding. Just like I just can't get hooked to it. And I just like keep trying, keep trying. And I just, I just can't, but I want to finish it because I don't like, you know, it's like a TV show. If you start it, I want to finish it. And same with books, but I just, I don't know, like it has its good things, but I'm just not, I don't know, I don't feel, you know, so yeah, if you've read The Midnight Library, please tell me if you liked it or not, and if you liked it, why? Oh, because it's been a tough read. Since I have nothing else to do today, what we're gonna do is walk there. It's an hour walk, but I'm excited to just walk around. It's early and mornings in California are just beautiful. So that should be fun. And then we might grab food later over there. We might not, we'll see what time it ends up being by the time I'm done with Barnes and Noble. But um, yeah, should be exciting and let's go. Also, I wanted to share my outfit of the day. I'm not really a stylish person, but you know, why not? Uh, I'm wearing this sweater from American Eagle that my sister gave me for Christmas. And I have this jeans from also American Eagle. They were my mom's and she gave them to me last week. And then I'm gonna go with Crocs because that's all I wear. Like I said, please Crocs, sponsor me. Okay guys, so I am almost there. Um, it's like, what, 10.30 and I am sweating. I only have a sweater on and it's winter, but it's winter in LA. Um, so yeah, I'm just not uh, cold at all. I'm sweating, um, but yeah, almost there. And also like, there's a movie theater here and I am so tempted to go see Spider-Man again. That movie was, amazing in every sense of the word and it's like right there so I'm just gonna check out times we'll see because it's just so good is this a sign that's the theaters here's Barnes and Noble it might be actually but let's go inside oh my god it's so exciting Puzzles. I was just looking for puzzles. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, look. They are so cute. Um, yeah, we'll see. Because <gasps> there's so many. Guys, I might need to get a puzzle, but we'll see. I love this place. Oh, guys. The versions that they have. Well, the Constitution. Why not? Look at these. They're so beautiful. These from Sherlock Holmes. Ugh. I'm in love. Hello. <laughs> Why? 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 It's all the amount of games that 
they have you guys are amazing i've been looking for these oh my god it has 25 percent off guys there's so many and they're all so cute i just can't okay let's go to the books now as always neil gaiman being the king that he is oh i love them why are there always so many good options and guys look there's a my hair is everywhere history of magic book but like you know i love magic but like this is actual real life magic if that makes sense okay guys but what i actually came for is this there is this girl i follow on instagram her name is Haley, and she has a really cute like magical quilt boutique and she loves these books and i know she has good taste because i read a couple of things that she has recommended so i, I trust her um so i think i'm gonna get this one they have like five more but i don't see them here and i think i'm just gonna get one and then if i like it i'll just keep which i probably will because i love fantasy sagas and it's like five more books i think um so if i like it i'll just keep getting them um probably on amazon because it's usually um cheaper but this is what we came for so a court of thorns and roses by sarah mass and yeah i'm just excited <laughs> gotta stop by the children's section because we all know that they have the best books ever like such harry potter and guys my siblings gifted me the number one of these for my birthday and it's so cute okay guys now the real reason why i'm here is because every time i come i'm like this close to getting a winnie the pooh book book um and i just never do so i want to see if this time we leave with a winnie the pooh book because why not so today they only i'm only finding these two but they don't have the big ones that are like super nice so i'm gonna keep looking and these are 16 um each and they're different stories but i'm gonna keep looking because i want the the, the one that has colors on it and these are always so precious like just look at them guys i found it oh my god i don't know what to do so my only thing against getting that book which is the cutest book ever and i'm like Ugh, I'll, i mm, i probably will get it but we'll see um is that i'll probably have to move in a couple months and i just i can't keep adding weight to everything if i need to move in a plane you know what i mean so that's like my only thing that i'm like oh, should i should i not but at the same time you only live once, right? Guys, look at this. It's beautiful. Guys, look at this. And the review says, save a place on the shelf between Alice and the Hobbit. Like, that's such a cool review. Like, and right here we have it. Like, it's the musical. I'm intrigued because everyone talks about the musical. I haven't seen it, but it's probably amazing okay guys i'll gra i grab the puzzle i'll show it to you later i really wanted a disney one but they are like ten dollars more expensive than the rest and like i love disney but there are also other pretty puzzles yeah so what i ended up doing was leaving the courts of um i can't remember the name now i ended up leaving that one because i found it on amazon for like eight dollars cheaper so what I'm going to do is just get that one on Amazon and then I got the puzzle and the Winnie the Pooh one. I'll show you guys when I get back. Um, like I want to open it because it has like kind of plasticky um, stuff on it. So I don't know the inside, but we'll see. Um, and also like we have the membership. So I also had a discount, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to order the other one on Amazon because it's just cheaper. So I actually was there way, way less time than I expected. So I'm just going to head back home. And we'll do the little haul there. And I'm not gonna go see Spider-Man. I just hope they put it somewhere. I wanna rewatch it, but ah. Okay, hey guys, I wanted to do the little haul. I got home, I was starving by then because I walked back as well and it was so hot. Just ate some pasta. I'm watching Modern Family and yeah, we just wanted to do the little haul. So first of all, we have this book. Let's open it because 
my intrigue as to what's inside. But yeah, so I ended up deciding to get this because I ended up looking, I'm very much that person that compares, I guess, compares prices and stuff. So I looked it up on Amazon and like the full completed stories of Winnie the Pooh, they were pretty much the same price and the version like this was a nicer version so i just decided to go for this one and then get the other book that i want to read a court of thorns and roses online which was a lot cheaper at like that so that's what i'm gonna end up doing i'm super excited to read the other book it just sounds so interesting this plastic okay oh my god oh this is like plasticky this is so cute and it has all of the stories oh my god it's precious it's so cute you guys i love it just so beautiful and i don't know i feel like winnie the pooh stories are just i don't know they're amazing so pretty i don't know i cannot wait to read this i'll probably just like read a random short story from now and then I love it. This was, was great. Beautiful. It is heavy. So again, we'll figure it out when I need to move, how I move everything. And then we got this little puzzle, which is kind of like a, a big library. It kind of has just the different sections of a bookstore and it's like a five-story bookstore. It just looked really cute and it was way cheaper, like I said, than the Disney ones. And it's a thousand pieces. So I'm kind of trying... <laughs> I just want it, you know, just to do something at night. This is actually really cute. It brings like the little picture, I guess. Very cute. Love it. And since we were talking about books, I wanted to mention two last things. One, that if you like baking, my boyfriend gave me this book of how to bake for Christmas. The recipes are from this guy called Paul Hollywood, and he is a judge in the Great British Baking Show, and it's one of the best shows ever. It, I just have the most fun watching it. And if you haven't seen it, it's probably on Netflix. Just go ahead and watch it. It's super heartfelt and the people that participate are amazing. The hosts are amazing and the judges are as well. And this has really kind of basic recipes and at the same time it teaches you techniques like for bread and kneading and mixing and this and that so if you're kind of looking for basics and good classic recipes this is a great book to have i baked the brownies off this recipe the other day and they were really really good they were a lot more moussey than what i'm used to so that was really good as well and then last but not least i wanted to discuss the shadow and bone trilogy that i finished like a month ago i guess uh it was super super good they were all really good because the first one, I started it after watching, well, after, months after watching the show. And in the show, they use a lot more characters from other books that the author has in the same world. And in the books, they're not there. So I guess I was kind of disappointed in the first book because they didn't have those characters. But I was like, no, you know, it's still good. Um, it's amazing. Let's just keep going. And then after the second book, since I had nothing to compare it to, it was amazing. And the story just surprises you in every turn. And th there's a lot of tension and the characters are amazing. Like if you've read it and Nikolai, like I'm just so excited to see who they're gonna cast as him. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw it on Instagram before I read it and I still want to go back to it because I want it to be a surprise when I'm watching the show so I'm not gonna be watching any trailers or anything but it should be fun but I definitely recommend it if you like um, fantasy and also kind of a love story definitely recommend the Shadow and Bone trilogy uh, but yeah I just wanted to talk about that for two seconds because I love them and I just wanted to share that and yeah I will be finishing the Midnight Library because I will because I have to finish it i'll let you know how that goes and then i will be ordering the other book of amazon and i will start that one as soon as i'm finished the other one and we'll see how that goes but it sounds really interesting but yeah that was that <laughs> the amount of detail that goes into this little puzzle i love it it's so cute Okay guys, now that I'm actually looking at it closely because I'm starting to separate the pieces, this is amazing. Like look, it has like a little fantasy section with the unicorn and the little wizard and 
just you know science fiction and then we move on to sports and travel it's like a an airplane um then we have spirituality we have science and nature and it's just little scientists there monkeys it's so cool oh my god that's mickey mouse and batman and is that Tintin? like is that the guy that you know we have adventures <laughs> is that him oh my god you guys i'm like spider-man there's just so many like pikachu um i don't remember that guy's name but we all know it then we have romance and then we have poetry um well just in general then cooking a little kitchen gardening um memoirs and that's just that politics um horror and that's pretty cool um then we have mystery i think that might be one of my favorite ones then we have children then we have young adult and that is i had not even looked at that one that is so sad and then well that and then we have magazines and then art and design so i just wanted to say thank you so much for tagging along if you made it this far just thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go ahead and just eat some brownies take a shower and keep on doing this it's gonna take me a while to do it but you know that's what i got why i got it to kind of keep me entertained so it should be fun it's really cute and i'm really excited and yeah i'll just keep you posted guys on the new books and how everything goes regarding that but i hope you have a wonderful week and yeah just thank you so much for watching Bye.